it's stuck. Uh, Again, the final, it's you know, growing. Nobody's, nobody's really talking about it. And, and uh, <laughs> in fact, uh, President Trump... Oh, nobody's really talking about it. It's an issue we should talk about. Yeah, the issue that they're trying to talk about is them pushing propaganda. Are you kidding me right now? Look at the title. Be prepared. The grid is going down. It's coming from Tucker Carlson, the, po the supposed truth teller who left Fox. I never trusted him. Because first he was on CNN, then he went to Fox when the tide shifted, obviously. No, this guy's a lion. Ooh. Look at this. Oh. Oh. We're, we're, we're. Oh, they fooled you about fossil fuel. We're truth tellers over here. Oh, be prepared. No, this is a fucking propaganda narrative. Oh, my goodness, people. And then people are saying, look, here's the bots. Thank you for trying to wake people up. I said, you need to wake up. They're about to cut the power on us because they're losing. They're about to lose the election. So what are they going to do? They're going to cut the power and let everybody fend for themselves because they made up this bullshit narrative. I'll let you listen to it, and then I'll explain why that's bull. I mean, you probably re read my comment right there. I'll explain why it's bull crap. Excuse my language, but this is horrible. Tucker Carlson just exposed his true colors. You know, people, it gets back. You know it's bull because they instantly went into so it. We're grateful that Dennis Quaid is joining us on set right now. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tucker. Tucker. We're so glad to be so here. So let's get so, into this bullshit. I mean, I could ask you a million questions, but I want to get, I want to get right to the project that's coming up. Right yeah, now. I can't even wait. I'll let you see the clip after I explain what it is. Freaking says the sun's gonna blow up our electricity and all the power is gonna go out, and it's a hundred percent inevitable because it happened before. Bitch, we have advances in technology. He says it happened last in eighteen sixty. It's been a hundred and twenty years. It was a hundred and eighty years. Whatever amount of years. It's been 200 years since freaking this happened. All the advancement. He said, oh, it's 100% going to happen. We can't do nothing. Oh. Mm. About our power grid that you did. Can you just give us a quick overview of what this is and why did you do it? It's called Grid Down Power Up. And uh, it's about an issue which concerned me really for quite some time. I uh, Don't I fall a, for uh, people. I segment on 60 Minutes about this, but it, basically... Uh, there is a 100% probability that our sun generating what they call a GMD, uh, uh, which is a solar storm, that uh, hits, our, hits our Earth. <clears throat> Listen how he's stumbling and fumbling. You people need to freaking wake up. Just because someone says something, like, wake up, dude. Just because someone says something doesn't make it true. Okay, just because he's saying, oh, scientists and GMD, that are coming from the sun, it happened before. And just because it sounds like this guy's fucking, maybe it did happen and stuff like that. You gotta use your brain. This is propaganda. And uh, you the magnetic field that we have around the earth and can fry everything that is electric above the ground, including our entire it's grid. Ridiculous. And, and this would happen organically, naturally. That's just what the sun does. It, it has just happened. Gonna happen. a, they call it a Carrington event. Uh, which happened in, I think it was 1859, and at that time, basically, we had telegraph lines, that, as far as electricity goes, and it fried iron. And it fried iron. He's freaking stumbling, because he knows he's fucking... Anyways, Tucker's been having, like, he's been coaxing people, he's been gaining their trust, having Alex Jones on, and oh, he's the free speech advocate, he's having all these people on, and we need to do this and that, it's bullshit, watch this. Our telegraph system that was set up had to be replaced and uh the entire thing the entire thing and so uh, imagine what that would do now with a very large storm uh which there's a hundred percent chance of it happening imagine what it's going to do when it happens it's going to happen we don't have any safety measures in place for this that was a hundred year event they call that one and uh, I'm not good at math, but, but in the trillions of dollars that it would take to to replace all that, plus there wouldn't, we wouldn't even get to spend the, those trillions of dollars because the uh, it would take out not only the electricity, but you know all of our, our entire infrastructure and our society runs on electricity. We don't we don't know how to live without it. You know, you turn on there wouldn't be any water in your tap. There wouldn't. You couldn't get gas for your car because the, the, the whole system is broken down. Everything that we rely upon would be gone. Uh, the food would uh, melt in our refrigerators. There would be uh, 
and they predict yeah, within it, yeah. a year about 90 percent of the population would be dead from starvation disease <laughs> or you know people and he's bringing you all this folks yeah we don't have a uh, backup generators you know anything i guess for, for when we knew this was going to happen and we don't have any precaution to it with our trillions of dollars in defense and trillions of dollars of this and billions of dollars with so sorry guys you're fucked 90 percent of the population is gone sorry guys this is what alex jones has been saying they're going to do uh that they're going to try to kill us off and uh here they come with oh sorry guys there's just this thing that is going to happen good luck like what? Uh, this video came out 45 minutes ago. It's going to be very interesting to see how people react to this, I guess. Gets back to the Stone Age again. Killing each other. Yeah.